yeah, I ran that 5K on February 15th, and then the next day I got my wisdom teeth taken out. So that like put me down for like two weeks. I didn't run after that. So that took that takes me to like the last week of February, and then I get an email from one of the organizations that I'm a part of. It's Good City Mentors. We work at we work in high schools all around LA. Just being there for teens, just helping them out, just talking to them, and just being a mentor, just being good people really to teens. You know, they, they help us just as much as we help them. But with that organization, Good City Mentors, we have a partnership with Nike. So Nike offered us free entry into their LA 13.1 half marathon. Now this half marathon was supposed to be on April the 5th and I had never done a half marathon before, but because we got free entry to the marathon and I had met with some of the Nike guys at the firecracker race and I was just all in. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna do it. So I signed up for the Nike LA 13.1 and then now we're, let's fast forward just about a week to the first week of March. And with my group, Good City Mentors, we get to go visit the Nike LA headquarters right here in Culver City. So we go over there, it was really cool. We got to tour the facility, um, look at some exclusive showrooms with some unreleased gear, see the offices where they work at, and also go in the locker room. And then we got to meet with Coach Blue, and he ran us through like just a quick little workout just to get us ready for the marathon, really to just work on our mechanics, to fine tune our mechanics to prevent injury. So at this point, I was looking forward to the marathon, but I was not training for the marathon. So we're about a month out now and I still hadn't started my training because the recovery from getting my wisdom teeth taken out took a little longer than I expected. So now we're about three and a half weeks out from the marathon and I'm like, you know what? I'm just not even gonna train for this marathon. I'm just gonna go out there and run it with no training, you know, just to test myself, just to see what I can do. But I was really just giving myself an out so I didn't have to train because like, just thinking about training for a half marathon, it was just so daunting in my mind. I just did not wanna do it at all. I was a little disappointed at when we went to Nike that we didn't get any gear. Anytime you go to Nike, you're hoping and wishing to get some gear. And I was really hoping and wishing to get a new pair of running shoes to train for the marathon because that is what was really lacking was a really good pair of running shoes. So everything changed for me in terms of a marathon prep on about March 8th or 9th when I got these. The Nike React Infinity Runs. Voila. I really love these shoes right here. Um, they really just kind of saved me in terms of running and really made me kind of start to fall in love with running again. These shoes are so, so comfortable. You see the sole, this really thick sole. There's just so much cushion on these. You feel like you're running on a pillow. So I got these on about March, like I said, 8th or 9th or so. But I didn't wear them. I didn't try them out yet. And then March 12th is when I finally took them out of the box and was going to wear them. But I didn't. And then on March the 13th, I think, is when everything got flipped upside down and coronavirus really hit home. The quarantine went into effect. The stay-at-home orders went into effect. And when that happened is when I pulled these back out, finally put them on my feet, went out for a run, and fell in love. I was like, wow, these are the greatest shoes I've ever had. Maybe there are. So March the 18th is when I got my first run in these shoes, and that's essentially when my half marathon training started. That was about two and a half weeks out from the race. At that time, I didn't know that was my half marathon training because I had no intentions of running the half marathon race because it was canceled. However, 
Fast forward two and a half weeks, I run almost every single day. And then on Sunday, March the 5th, I go out and I run 13.1 all on my own in these shoes and it felt great. I actually ran from my house down to the Pacific Ocean and back and somehow it ended up being almost exactly 13.1 miles. That was the first time I had ever ran down to the ocean and back and it was amazing. Like As you're getting closer and closer to the water, you can start to feel the energy and the vibrations from the ocean and it was just giving me more and more energy. And I didn't run that race really fast. That was not my intention to try to see how quickly I could run a half marathon. I just wanted to finish it, point blank. So I started off running about nine minute miles. I think for the first five, six, seven miles, I was averaging about nine minutes a mile. And then maybe like the last five miles, I think I picked it up to about 7.30 pace. Because at that point, I was thinking, well, the quicker I run now, the quicker I get home. So I, I did pick it up a little bit. But I think at the end of it all, my average pace was about 8.22. And I finally completed my first half marathon. Unofficially, but somewhat officially. Because I just got an email from Nike maybe two days ago that was congratulating me on completing the Nike LA 13.1 on my own and they threw me like a 30% discount code so maybe I'll have some new gear to reveal for you on the next video. But I do want to take a moment here just to say are you guys watching the last dance with Michael Jordan and the 1997-98 Chicago Bulls? Great piece of work right there. I'm definitely really enjoying it. I think this the past episodes five and six were hands down the best in my opinion and just wanted to use that as a segue just to say r.i.p to the legend the gloat himself kobe bryant um at his untimely death really gave me a lot of inspiration and motivation and made me want to put in more work so that's really has a lot to do with why i'm running right now that really has a lot to do with why i'm making videos and I also wanted to say the Nike LA 13.1 half marathon was really all about increasing girls and women's participation in sports all the way from elementary to high school to college to the professional ranks and Kobe was a huge advocate for women's sports and women's basketball specifically and it, it just breaks my heart that whole situation but I'm using that as something to inspire me and light a fire under me to push forward to carry on his legacy and I hope you do the same. So if you haven't run yet during this quarantine, lace up your shoes today or tomorrow and get out there and get a run in. The hardest step is the one that gets you out the door. After that, it's easy.